Hello and welcome, my name is Fabian Boros and I'm a local filmmaker and youth worker currently based in Cork City and a frequent user of public transportation in the city and surrounding areas. Many of us have been affected by the recent industrial action between Balsera and its workers and myself as well as my colleagues have been really seeing the effect of the recent bus strikes. To see how it's really affecting people in Cork City and County, we have decided to go out on the streets of Cork to find out how it's really affecting businesses and people's lives in the number of days since the strike has begun. I'm Rebecca and I've been out here today talking to the people of Cork, trying to find out from the locals how they're affected by the recent bus strikes. So we've been chatting to a few people around town. Some people have said they're not affected by the bus strikes at all actually. But a few more people have uh, been chatting with us and telling with us how their daily lives have changed in the last week since the strikes took place. What have you been doing for the past the past week? Then have you been I just, walking I've, every day? Walking, the yeah. odd lift where I could get it, but mostly walking. I I walk see. past the uh, the picket sec. Capwell, go to Parnell. Well. So, what what do you think about the current situation? In, uh, I think it needs to be sorted uh, without taking a hatchet to the terms and conditions that workers have worked for for decades, and if, and that the Minister for Transport, Shane Ross, the NTMA, the management, and the workers who are calling for this need to sit at the the WRC and sort it out that way with the alternatives that the workers have put forward. Would uh, coming into town be part of your day-to-day -day life or is it kind of Not more... Not really, it's more occasionally. Occasional, mm. weekend? Yeah, weekend. yeah, that kind of thing. Would you see a big difference in your life then in the last uh, week or so since the, the bus strike? Uh, it's happened? a small bit. I mean, obviously, you know, if it's raining or anything like that, it'd be nicer to have the option of the bus, but... Exactly. And kind of understand the situation as well. Yeah. You know. What would be your feelings then on <sighs> I think that, you know, there's too much griping about what people are earning, what people are not earning, and it no one's focusing on the actual issue that the entire the entire union is, is unhappy with the situation and unhappy with what they've been offered and they're striking, you know, for their jobs. Yeah. In a way, like obviously I know that the the entire company could collapse as a result of this but you know that's how people they show their voice by uniting and either striking or getting together it's the same as any other form of protest i just realized that they're just voicing the only way they can and kind of getting their opinion out the only way they can to show that they're unhappy with management I, no one's really blamed the management and the company everyone's blaming the bus drivers I and mean, they're not the ones running it they're just driving the bus I'm here at the English Market. It's been at the centre of trade in Cork for centuries. And uh, we've been here asking some of the traders what they think about the, the bus strikes and have they noticed any changes in business over the last week. They said that uh, they noticed there was a definite change in footfall over the last week. There's a lot less people coming through. And in particular, regular elderly clientele who'd be coming through to the butcher's counter maybe to to get their, their same purchase for every week. They just haven't been seeing them this week because I guess they just can't get to town. They also told us stories of some of the traders here down Oliver Plunkett Street. Some of them have really lost big sales this week. Between 30 to 70% of trade, that's a really big number. Yeah, so it is, it's having a big impact. Um, well, I'm really fortunate because I live in the city centre, um, but it's certainly affecting business, like, like, but I personally, you know, <laughs> you know, I, I just work here, I personally feel like they need to do that. Well, but that said, yeah, it is affecting business, so it's undoubtedly about it. Yeah. The tourists are wandering around, but it's just there's less locals. Like, I'm in college as well, and there's, there were lots of people who couldn't get into college because they live outside. You know, um, so like, you know, it was like college was really quiet this week yeah. as well. You know, it does, it does put the span in homeworks, but then again, you know, and it is affecting our business and it is affecting our college. Would you be 
relying on the buses. Oh even God, in, yes, even big time, yes. As well. Oh yeah, big time, yeah. I have a wheelchair to get me down to the shops yes. at home. Yeah. I use it just in Bannon College, mm -hmm. but I depend on the buses to come in here. To come in here, mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Did you have any difficulties getting into town today? Our, our relatives dropped us in, okay. and my husband is collecting me. That's Otherwise, nice. I would have been totally stranded at home. Really? Yeah. And is, there, is that the, the general feeling in oh, your yes, home place? Oh yes, absolutely, of course. Yeah. Just, well, the thing is, is um, so I work up there in, in Bishopstown, so loads of people live around the city, so people have to get like, the buses stuff to work, yeah. and that's how they get to work, and it's like, you know, two quid to get to work, whereas now it's costing them 15 euro to get to work, 15 euro to go to work. They're on minimum wage, so they're only earning about 70 quid a day, so that's 30 euro spent in transport. So they're coming out with 40 euro, so there actually is no point in them going to work. Like. Yeah. So that's where it's really affecting people, like going in or work and stuff like so. Yeah. And have you noticed any change in the traffic or? Town is quieter, isn't it? Yeah. Much quieter. And the shops are, I noticed last Sunday, the shops are very quiet. Yeah. So uh, the business people will be really feeling it uh -huh. if it goes on for much longer. Yeah. If you're not a driver, really, you are stuck. It's mostly students and young people trying to get to work, like even yeah. if it's, um, Calls and just people who work in Mahin, even people who work in town who live, because most people live in the suburbs now because work is so high. So it's getting in out of towns, so they're laying like car share and stuff and getting home again, like so. Yeah. That's basically it, like so no one can afford a 50. I only hope that it just comes back. And if the minister engaged somewhat with them, there might be some chance. Yeah. But he's not, he's, he, he won't engage yeah. until it gets worse. But if they're cutting their wages, like in any industry, you're not going to want to work, like, and then. The politicians are still getting paid and they're still getting their bait raises and stuff and the bus strikers aren't getting paid for work so why would you work if you're not getting paid for it? Like, so the why politicians are after getting a rise so you can't really blame them for striking. Did you find you had any difficulties getting in and around would, town today? Would the buses granted but they haven't said that no. There is no bus service in Curry Pike where I'm living. And uh, it is my sister. Uh, she gives me a lift in to the rosary on a Saturday morning. There was some of them missing due to the bus strike. But uh, there was a lot of a couple of people there. Yeah. I will have to get the taxi home. Have you noticed there been a lot of crowds around, or has it been good? It's busy enough for you today, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I suppose. I suppose everyone's stranded. We can't go anywhere, can we? No. no. I was down to Clarny there, like I went down to Clarny Thursday night, you know, and I got the train down, and. Uh, I woke up to an email off Aaron Road Aaron saying that uh, the trains were cancelled, so I was stranded on there. We met a car couple um, that night, the night before, like in a, in a pub. So they, they offered us a spin, yeah. even before uh, they knew we had a train booked. So um, the next morning, then I just got onto them, and we were lucky, like we could have yeah. been just stranded. You know? uh, how do you feel about the, the bus strikes? Do you think you're, they're justified, or how, how would you be feeling about them? I don't know, I suppose, like. Um, every, a lot of people are saying too it's greed you know like everyone's just looking for more money but like it's it's fairly expensive so everything's kind of like the prices are kind of rising i think anyway so like you know like people need, need money to provide for a family and they need to enjoy their life as well so there's there's a lot of different opinions on it but i don't know so while the bus stops still remain empty for the moment we hope uh, the current industrial action can we reach a good resolution for the bus drivers and everybody involved uh, so both our bus drivers and uh, our Corconians from both the city and county can get back on the roads and resume our normal lives thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, please make sure you hit that like button if you're watching on social media and make sure you share this video so that the voices of people of court can be heard. Thank you to everyone for taking time to talk to us and thank you so much for watching.
until next time bye for now